Pirelli is an Italian brand, moped, and bicycle manufacturer. They were most well known in the 1970s through the 1980s to be the ones that built the most reliable mopeds. They weren't up there with Pooch or Creedler for top speed, but they were known for their consistency and their overall funness to ride. In 1978, Pirelli produced their rarest moped to date, which was called the Gulp Matic. It was rare because they only started to make a couple thousand of them before production was halted due to low sales because of the name of the moped. So they re-released it in 1979 called the VIP, the VIP Deluxe, and in here in America, most commonly known as the Twin Sport. But the Gulp Matic was designed with the H2 engine. The H2 engine was called H2 because it was a horizontal two-speed design. This engine was not their most popular in the, is that it would seize and was not that reliable. So, what I put on your moped was their famous 1978 through 1988 model of their V1, which is their vertical engine one speed. This was Corelli's most famous and most reliable engine. It is now figured and mounted onto your moped that you have now. So you have an extremely rare, it's actually number 133 off the line, designed Corelli and it has the Vertical One engine, which is their most popular and most reliable. So this nasty used engine that I got, I'm gonna clean up Bob and rebuild and rebirth a powerful engine for you. I'm now going to put them in the sandblasting chamber and sandblast. So I'm adapting these other type of handlebar holders that are top instead of pipe driven, uh, which is just a way better setup. But in order to do that, I need to put these here and drill holes to custom make it, then paint these. These are your old headlight mounts and I'm going to fix them up, clean them and paint. Now I got to remount this and re-weld it and move the swing arm back three inches and then create some custom mounts for your engine. I'm assembling the front fork system now as well as just getting everything mounted up. That way I can figure out where exactly the engine needs to lay and then weld it into place. Now I put one rear bolt in and cut the hole to make it aligned. I have to now make a custom bracket that hangs down, which I'm currently cutting out right now, but I want to give it some cool curve and then I'll drill the hole here and this will weld up to the frame. Now that I have your engine mounted up, uh, the exhaust angle for this port won't quite fit, so I tried to grind it to fit it, but what I'm going to have to do is cut this section out and then create another bolt mount here. That way you have maximum support for your exhaust. Now, 
Hey Mo, are you excited? Yeah. Now I'm assembling the throttle assembly as well as the brake cable. And I'll have to probably custom cut the thing to length. So I'm gonna have to put this inside your carburetor a bunch of times until I find the perfect length. That way you have the best pool on your short pool throttle. Since there was no step through plate, I'm custom making one. I'm cutting one out of diamond plated steel and I'll paint it and I'll put it in your bin. Another fun challenge I have is figuring out how to bend the metal, which I already did that side, but now I have to create a jig to bend the other side. Yay! So now that I've got this plate with the proper spacer underneath, I'm gonna drill some. Uh, or these holes, I'm gonna recenter and then put a washer so you won't see those. I had to put those there to bend the actual piece. I centered them as best as possible, but when you make the bends, it's hard to tell. And then I'll center it up. But I got your petcock in place, go straight to the fuel, it's perfect. system it's a CEV type Bosch no longer works so we're replacing it with an HPI system which stands for horsepower ignition and it's the best ignition system you can get from open so now I'm going to install that there was no foot peg mounts so I had to weld on custom foldable mounts which tuck away and then pop out. There was no bolt for the rear brake system, so I have to custom make my own. 